Hello. Hey, I've had a couple moms ask me about writing with kids, and we definitely are going to be covering a the whole topic of writing inside the homeschool huddle in 2019 in January, and you can take a sneak peek at the schedule inside, but I thought I'd give you some tips of things that you can be working on or thinking about before the new year. A lot of us are off. We're not homeschooling through Christmas, but that doesn't mean that our kids can't write or it doesn't mean that we can't do some pre-writing things with our kids. Hey, Misty and Rebecca. Um, so we're talking writing. How do you set your kids up for success for writing essays, research papers, um, big chunky projects, poems, anything? How do you set them up? The secret is brainstorming. Now, a lot of us homeschoolers skip this part, and I'm going to encourage you not to skip this part. Get a blank whiteboard or piece of paper, and you are the one with the pen, not your kids. And you talk about anything. So let's just, because it's Christmas, let's talk about Christmas for a second. And you would say, hey, what if we were going to think about Christmas, what are some big topics? What are some big things that have to do with Christmas? And then you listen and you write down, sorry about the lighting, you write down everything that the kids say. So, and there's no wrong answers in the brainstorming. There's no silly answers. There's no dumb answers. There's no wrong answers with brainstorming. So you write down everything. You guys go ahead, brainstorm with me. Tell me some topics of things that are about Christmas. So I'm going to start with the big one so that we can just get him in there. I'm going to stretch over, grab my green pen. What else? So with Christmas, kids might say, um, they might say Advent. They might say tree. They might say star, uh, cookies, um, family. And you guys have any ideas yet? Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Melanie. Um, what other types of things? You might use words like gifts. Are there any other words for gifts, like presents? Um, how does Christmas make you feel? And you talk about and you go, oh, it's a delight. Some people feel sad at Christmas, and that's okay. I'm going to take you any way you come. It's okay to be yourself, okay? Um, sad, delight, wonder. What else? Happy. Uh, what else is there about Christmas? Decorations. Not everybody does decorations. And this is just for an object lesson. You do this with your kids. Decorations. Spell wrong on purpose. See if they catch you. Kids love that. Okay, decorations. And things would be things like garland or lights or ornaments. Right, so you get a, you fill up your space, your paper, um, Christmas trees, winter. Oh, good one, winter, uh, snow. Right, um, anything else? Good job, good good ones, Melanie. So you keep. Did I say Melanie? Yeah, Melanie. So you keep brainstorming. Then when you filled up your paper, you filled up your board. Now you ask your kids, okay, do you see things that go together? Um, so I see Jesus and Advent that go together and probably star. So those kind of go together. I see um, emotions and feelings that go together. Um, I see decorations that go together. I see uh, cookies. If we brainstormed longer, we would come up with other food things. Eggnog, um, whoops, eggnog, ham, turkey. You don't have to read my writing. So now you're brainstorming. When you're done with this, you do one more thing and then you're done. You take, your, you take this list and now you ask your kids, what are the three categories that are the most important to you or that you think that we have the most information about? And it, again, this is just an, ex, um, an example, but they might say, wow, there's a lot of emotions connected with Christmas. 
and there's a lot having to do with decorations with Christmas. And you know what? This is the most important to me, so I want to make sure that we talk about Jesus when we're talking about Christmas. So from this mess, you do this one day, and then you either leave the board up, which my husband hates. It's why the whiteboard's hidden upstairs, because I do this all the time. Um, okay, so you have this clutter. The very next day, you have you come and you group things together. Hey, Janine. Okay, so the very next thing that day, you group these things together, and now you create a web where you would. So this is that's day one. Day two, you would say Christmas from our list. You told me that the things that you see the most are um, Jesus. And over here we have a um, smaller circle, decorations. And then another one we had emotions. And then we can pull others. We could even do one more of food. So now we ask our kids, okay, from here, what kind of decorations are there? Now you do more brainstorming and you say, oh, I love Christmas lights. I make my kids promise. Hey, when mommy's 80 or 142 and can't walk anymore, you have to come push me around to look at Christmas lights, please. So I've made them all pinky swear that they would come take me to do Christmas lights. Christmas lights, garland. Um, these go with decorations. A Jesse tree. Jesse ornaments. And you do this where you take your mess and now you categorize it into these major sections. And that's all you do for today. It's again, so day one, messy brainstorming. Day two, you organize it some more. Now, if your kids haven't done lots of writing, this is really where you stop. Do this until you have gone through the activity of brainstorming through half a dozen or a dozen different topics. And you, Mama, keep these papers ready. And so now you will have already brainstormed topics where you've already helped them come up with vocabulary. You've already helped them divide it into sections. And you can have, you can do it on anything. You can do it food, specific sports, favorite movies, uh, favorite gifts from Christmas or birthdays, um, inventions, anything, bugs, spiders, ballerinas, anything. Messy brainstorm, day one. Then start to categorize, go, hey, which things go together on this list? This is day two. Doesn't have to be back to back, just close enough together that they remember the conversation. Then make sure that you build yourself a binder that has all these different topics that your kids have already webbed. Okay, and now you have a whole stack of things that your kids can then expand into poems, essays, research papers, and more. And we're going to go in this in much more detail inside the homeschool huddle in January. Let me peek at the schedule. My husband's texting me. I forgot to tell him that I was going to be on. Let's see. I have that scheduled for the second huddle in January, which you can see in the schedule, we're going to go through writing topics, what rubrics are, how to use them, and how to pull excellent writing out of your kids. Remember the goal with writing? Hey, Janelle, I miss you. Um, the goal in writing is not the essay. It's not the research paper. The goal in writing is communication. Clear focused communication, right? That's it.
By the time they graduate from high school, they should be able to clearly communicate their ideas on paper and out loud. And you do this by systematically, over time, teaching them how to brainstorm and then organize their thoughts and then to fine tune their language. And we're gonna go into that in a lot more detail, but I wanted to give you this little bit of a tutorial because this is a fun activity to do if the kids never hold a pencil or a pen. And this is the perfect time of year to take all their writing utensils away and you become their secretary and say, gosh, I wonder how many words can we come up with about butterflies? Or how many words can we come up with about and whatever it is that they love, soccer, um, space, the human body, and you're just brain dumping vocabulary, brain dumping vocabulary. This is the secret sauce of writing, the brainstorming, the secret sauce, putting all the ideas down in um, kind of chaotic form and then letting it sit and then organizing your thoughts. And then you can start attacking the writing. So I hope that helps. Um, Mandy, when you pop on later, this was specifically for you, um, but I had more than half a dozen moms ask me about writing over the last couple weeks. So I thought this would be a fun little activity for everybody to do between now and the first week of January. If you're gonna be in the homeschool huddle, this is an excellent, I would love if you have done this activity at least once, two, three times with your kids before that huddle, because then you'll have this rich bank. You will have seen how excited the kids can be when they're not the ones that are writing, okay? So anyway, that's it for today. I gotta get, my husband's texting me, so I love you guys, you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon.